Hey y'all, this is Matt Vulcan Gasifier, and this here is the 2015 M1. And when you get, when you order a machine from us, uh, whether it's uh, an M1 or the M4, that's a machine in progress, you'll get something that looks like this. And people email us and they go, what the heck is it? And what that is, is the carburetor attachment kit. Um, it's as universal as possible, but we do need some help from you, the end user. You will have to drill some holes to adapt it to the carburetor. Uh, looks like I got a bit of a leak. Alright, so... So the first thing that you're going to want to do is, well, on mine, um, the air cleaner is long gone. This this little generator here uh, is actually the second engine I've ever ran on wood gas, and that was three years ago. Uh, you can actually see it uh, brand new on the drive on wood form on my Vulcan gasifier thread, along with a, an early M1. Um, and you can see how things have evolved. Um, you know, going from this little guy to that. Um, so we've we've evolved a lot. The company's grown quite quickly. Um, I started out in a small uh, pole barn, and now I have a commercial building. And we got builds in out there. Um, we got a lot of stuff going on. But anyway, back to the carburetor modification. So anyway, the, uh, the air cleaner's long gone. All right, now, when you remove your air cleaner, hopefully you'll have a gasket. And that's gonna help you locate your holes. Um, this is universal as possible, like I said, but you know I can't guarantee that you know, if I punch holes in that, it's gonna fit any engine. So it's, better, it's best if you do it. And as you can see, I've taken a Sharpie and I marked my holes. Um, on the M1, this uh, port here is um, three quarters, and on the larger M3 and M4, I believe it's seven eighths. Um, if you do need to open up the hole, then I would recommend going to Lowell's and getting a step drill. Um, they're kind of expensive, but you know if you need to, you know, drill a big hole, it makes life real easy. Okay, so first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna take the bolts out of the face plate. And then you're gonna to need to center punch your holes. Um, don't try to um, freehand it, you know, make sure you, you, know, you get a center punch and center punch your holes as accurately as you possibly can. And that'll ensure you got a good fit. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, I'm gonna set you guys down. And even though I got a drill press, I'm gonna do it again as, you know, just in case. You know, some of you may not have a drill press, so I'm gonna just do it by hand. Slightly bigger than this, I think it's uh, 
probably should debury your holes after you've drilled it. Uh, where I'm at here with my. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, divert it up. Make sure you clean your chips out. You don't want any metal floating around in there getting into your mortar. I got a little interference issue with a bolt being slightly too long, so I can afford to trim that off. And when I do so, I should uh, allow me to fix that. Now, if you really had to, you could just get replacement bolts. Um, but because I got a grinder and then the ability, I just turn it. Grinder that's ten millimeters.
else in my my typical day searching for gold. I'll probably have more of that than I do work. Alright, so that's installed. Okay, now now if you got a vent tube like I do here, you probably wanna try to find a good location to put that. I'm gonna put that right like so. And that's just gonna take a typically it's gonna be a three-eighths hole, but it, you know again um, depends on what you have um, you may want to go bigger or whatever depending on the holes that you got and then also took an eighth inch drill bit <clears throat> and put a hole in the bottom okay and this won't hurt anything what this will do is the pulsation of the engine will will push any moisture that collects in here out and that's not enough air to really mess anything up because you're going to have plenty of uh, adjustment with your ball out. So it's, it's okay to have a little, that, that little vent there, that'll be okay. <clears throat> um, once you have that, then you're pretty much ready to put your face plate on. Um, and that's over here. I hope you notice. The import is offset, and that's just for situations like I have where I got something in the way. Um, you'll put this in place and then bolt it on, and you're ready to go. Okay, thanks for watching.